you are about to give up or you feel hopeless like never before let me tell you my story Get happiness from drawing, feel good in a relationship, have discipline, successful treatment for mental health, reach new goals and live in different country. Several years ago, all of that was like going to the moon. The change is possible. I was like every other kid playing, messing around. I thought that everybody feel pain and everything is fine. Everyone's mom left their children and believe that soon the world will come to an end. Grown-ups pretend like nothing is happening, so maybe it's me who are wrong. But I cannot blame them. Even though I was angry for so many years, they lived their life for the first times too. I was the latest child. My mom was left it alone with postpartum depression. From my youngest ages, I was treated by the ill woman. I was alone with a lady whose monsters were more than she can handle. Even there, I put my fingers in the colors and draw whatever I could on the walls and stuff. Scream. She wake me up and drag me from the bed. Demons tried to choke me. We ran on the first floor and lay on the carpet. Now I know that it was sleep paralysis. I had them too. Fear and pain that I hide for many years, even from myself. I needed to survive the madness of my mom and the loneliness. She killed my cat, running from her hallucinations, did not feed me properly, and still she was doing her best to fight with illness. The Finnish touch was cold she gained into. She told me that soon the dinosaurs will rise, it will be the end of the world when the Jesus come down from the sky. My mom invited a strange man to our house and called him saint. His sanity and when he molested me. I mean, nobody knew until I go to my psychologist. I know many of us go through darkest times, and every each story is matter. The figure of the mom is a universe for a kid. I live it every day, every minute, until she is gone for 14 years. Even though she was a terrible mom, I loved her. No one knew where she was. I see it really clearly, even now. She stay wearing a dress and look at the mirror. I drag her dress. Mommy, where are you going? Don't cry, little one, she said. It was autumn. I was sitting in a cozy room of my first psychiatrist. I was crying and I felt like some dark figure was holding my shoulder. I hear voices, but some are from far away, telling my dad that sport and vitamins will not work here, <laughs> that I have schizophrenia, and he needed to accept how serious the situation is. I remember these wolves with many hats and their bleeding eyes I will be drawn as long as disorder will take him over. Just imagine loneliness as cold as the snow, mixed with pain and the dragging away from reality fear. I was not living with my classmates or people on the streets, 
I was somewhere in between the worlds. The first words I tell my therapist was, I don't care about my mom. As long we were having sessions, as long I felt worse because we started to open the door that was driving me crazy, but at the same time was closed for many years. First antipsychotics, first cuts on my arms. I was an introverted person. Even though I always wanted to die, I was a dreamer too. I was thinking I'm not Anna, I'm in the wrong place, in the wrong body. I'm a dragon. And soon I will die to be in the magical world full of adventures, where I'm brave, where I fight bravely. I didn't know then that I was already fight bravely. After first laugh and first thought world experience, I had my first psychosis. It was far away from my home. I was trying to cut myself. While my friends trying to take away the knife, I was crying and laughing at the same time. They called my therapist. If I will give up this fight now, I will never escape the asylum in the CIA now. Just hold on, we're on our way. I was 18. First asylum was not so bad. They diagnosed me with schizophrenia. The years there remind me of the year with my mom. Second time in asylum. The girl who wanted to choke me screams of a woman who thought it was the needles in her eyes. But I kept going. Some say the hope is the strongest feeling you have, even stronger than the fear. My crazy teenage years changing into alcoholism and depression of 20s. I stopped drawing for a year, I stopped believing I am a dragon, I didn't want to die, I just didn't want anything. I just felt like I just don't have another choice. I cannot give up, because it's not an option. Because give up meant to die. And even this year is gone, I leave them. I start drawing again. Art was there for me all the time as my family and my therapist. I survive. I did. How I make it through 10 years of hopeless? I go on therapy and work on myself every day. Yes, it will take time, maybe a lot of time, but you will thank yourself for every little step you make. I cannot tell you what exactly you need because I don't know you personally, but now you know that the change for better is possible. Hello, my name is Anna and I'm an artist with post-traumatic syndrome and mixed personality disorder. From the girl who was afraid to go outside and feel madness to the woman who live on the other part of the world, create and feel loved. Even if it's needed to be 20 years journey of everyday work to escape the between the world. I have a hard times even now, as everyone does, but at least I feel myself. I enjoy my life in remission. From a new, closed, aggressive, lonely girl, I become the girl who is a superhero for herself. Don't stop. Don't stop no matter what. No matter how much you fall, matter how much you get back up. Even little steps matter. You're loved. You're worth it. Keep creating. Express yourself. You never know whose life it could save. And maybe the most important life it will save, it's yours.